Okay, so you can see we have just barely a, a savings between account two and three, and quite a significant savings on the th between the first account and the and the last two. All right, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the actual formula. And we've talked about a couple of different types of compounding, um, and here's a table that's going to help us out with that. For um, this is the formula that I've been showing you. The F equals P times the quantity 1 plus R over N raised to the NT power. And here's another version of that same um, formula. And the difference is our little P is R over N. And our big T is the same thing as little N times little T. And so we can think of it <clears throat> with the little p and the big T, it makes our formula a lot simpler. And then it also matches when we go to the next couple of formulas after this, the annuities and the installment loans. So you may want to think about it that way. The other thing I want you to notice is that the periodic rate is this little p. So that is the periodic rate. So it's R over N, that's what we call the periodic rate. And then the total number of compounding. So if we're investing something for 36 months, then we know that that is 12 for the number of compoundings because it's monthly, and then three for the number of years. So we, we think about that in both ways. So this one is N times T, number of compoundings times the number of years. Okay, so annually we have a periodic rate our n is going to be 1 if we have annually, monthly our n is going to be 12, and daily our n is going to be 365. Okay, that changes things slightly when we get to the periodic rate because our rate, we're going to have to do the rate divided by 1, so it's just rate, and so our little p is our little r. There, n is 1, so we don't even have to consider it. If we have monthly, however, and we do R over N, we have R over 12, and so that's what our P is going to be, is R, whatever the rate is, divided by 12. That's our periodic rate, and we saw that with the credit cards as well, where we had to divide by 365 because they were talking about a daily periodic rate. So this would be our daily periodic rate, I gave it away, R divided by 365, so our P is R over 365, and that's the little P, so our, little, our periodic rate for daily is going to be whatever your APR is divided by 365. So let's look at the number of compoundings then, because that's N times T. So if your N is 1 and you're at annually, then you just have the number of years, little t. So that's going to be our big T is the same thing as our number of years. If it's monthly, we're going to have 12 times the number of years. So our big T is going to be 12 times the number of years. And finally, for daily, the number total number of compoundings, that's going to be 365 times however many years. So our big T is going to be 365 times the number of years. Okay, so I show you this so that when you see it in one form or the other, it doesn't confuse you. So I'm hoping that you can notice the total number of compoundings or the total number of payments that you're going to make or the total number of deposits or whatever is represented by the NT. So sometimes you'll see it one way and sometimes the other.